Hello folks, it's been a bit of time again since we had a Tales from the Village Green, but I've been plotting this one for a while. In this episode, we find ourselves on the A60, just to the north of the large village of Ravenshead in Gedling. Where Gedling and Ashfield meet each other along this road, there's a blanket of trees known as Harlow Wood. It's a small part of the much larger Sherwood Forest. Passing through this area in your car, you would never usually have any reason to stop. I mean, why would you? It's only some trees. There's the odd footpath here and there, which you can explore, but it's a busy road and you'd need a lay-by. Luckily, there is one, and should you pull into it, you'd be close to a rare memorial called a murder stone. In 1817, a grisly crime took place here, a 17-year-old Elizabeth, or Bessie Shepherd, was beaten to death with a hedge stake. Shepherd was from Papplewick and had gone looking for work as a servant in Mansfield. It was on her way home when Charles Rotherham, inebriated from a heavy bout of drinking at a local pub called The Hut, bumped into her purely by chance. The two had never met, but Rotherham killed Shepherd there on the spot because he was after her shoes and distinctive yellow umbrella. He returned to the pub afterwards to sell them, but he failed to do so. There followed an unprecedented manhunt, and he was eventually captured by police on a canal bridge in Loughborough. He was sentenced to death, and his execution drew a massive crowd. Bessie, whose body was dumped in this very spot, was buried in the churchyard at Papplewick. Murder stones were quite common at one time, but now this is the only one left in Nottinghamshire, and Bessie Shepherd allegedly now haunts this stretch of road. Well there you go people, you just never know what's on the roadside when you're using a major road such as the A60. And I reckon next time you use this road between Nottingham and Mansfield, you'll be looking to the right hand side to catch a glimpse of that stone. <laughs>